I just want to welcome everyone to this historic building, the 5th Regiment Armory. Some of you are more familiar with it than others. Um, I want to thank Senator Mikulski for being with us today. Uh, I've known her for nearly 30 years and for that entire period she's always been a strong supporter of the Guard, a strong supporter of all that wear the uniform. Good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to once again be back here with the Maryland National Guard. I am so proud of the Maryland National Guard and the National Guard for the United States of America. Whenever there is a disaster, whenever there is a danger of facing our state or our country, who do we call up? We call up the National Guard. The Guard is always there. They're always there for America. They're always there for for Maryland, and I want to let you know I'm going to always be there for the National Guard. But right now, the National Guard is under attack, not from a foreign foe, but from the budget. Right now, there are green eye shades at the Pentagon that want to cut the Army National Guard by $1 billion. $1 billion that would mean the National Guard would be reduced nationwide by 15,000 people, and in Maryland, we could use as many as three to 500 National Guard. Now, out of all the things the federal government spends money on, I think we ought to be spending money on protecting us from whether it's from a hurricane or a terrorist attack. I want to make sure that what we do is to look out for the National Guard the way the National Guard has looked out for us. I'm concerned not only about the loss of people, but the loss of equipment. And I am announcing today that I am supporting a national commission to study the Army force structure so that we get a second opinion on what is the right thing to do, the right way to do it, so that we have the best 21st century military that a nation can provide and that the National Guard is in the forefront and not in the back of the line. Every state loves the National Guard. The governor of the state of Maryland, Governor O'Malley, actually wrote to the President of the United States saying, don't cut the guard. Every general of every state has written and said that. This National Guard here is so treasured. It was the Maryland militia that saved Baltimore and actually saved America at the Battle of North Point. In just a few months, we will be commemorating that battle. And it was here in Maryland that thanks to the, to the Maryland militia, we not only saved Baltimore, but a young man named Francis Scott Key off of the banks of a great fort called McHenry wrote the national anthem. On June 6th, we'll be commemorating the 70th anniversary of D-Day. I've been to Normandy. I saw where the Fighting 29th landed. The Fighting 29th of Maryland was one of the first on the beaches. They told, they thought that they had an impossible job to do, but they said for the Maryland National Guard, doing the impossible is what we do every single day. So we want to be sure that if you were first in line to save, save America and save Western civilization, we're going to be first in line to save you from the budget cuts. So I want you to know, in behalf of myself and the entire Maryland delegation, we want to thank the National Guard, the Air and the Army for what they do every single day and every single way. We know that some of you are full time, but actually you're all of the time. You're ever ready to be able to stand up for this country and to follow what a president or a governor asked you to do. And we ask you to do a lot. And lots of and we know you do it on your own time at considerable sacrifice. But we want you to know that you're needed, that you're valued, and that you're respected. And we're gonna make sure the people who wear green eye shades respect the people who wear the green uniform. God bless you and God bless America that we hold so dear. Thank you very much.